All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this example. A rectangular room is seven times as long as it is wide, and its perimeter is 64 meters. The dimensions, uh, find the dimensions of the room. So it may be useful for you guys just to remember uh, what exactly a rectangle is. Let's take a look at this one. All right, rectangles, the only thing that's special about a rectangle is that it has four right angles, which means that opposite sides, which I'll use these marks to indicate opposite sides, they are equal. So I would put one mark on those and two marks on these sides to indicate that they are equal. Now in some cases, uh, which isn't so rare, these all four of these sides would be equivalent. Uh, and then in that case you'd have a square, which is just a very special case of a rectangle. So that's what a rectangle is. And the length is usually the longer side of these two between length and width. And those are the dimensions, the length and width, which we need to find. But as it says up here, the room is seven times as long as it is wide. So the length is seven times the width. Now another term on here you see is this perimeter stuff, right? Well, the perimeter is simply the four sides added together. Some people like to think of this in terms of fencing, right? Uh, how much fencing would I need to close this rectangular uh, area, all right? So <clears throat> what I'm going to need to do is remember first that I have four sides, one, two, three, four, but that it also gave us the perimeter. This is our perimeter which is 64 meters, and I'm just adding these four sides together, okay? So I can take the width, then I'll add my length, which I'm going to write as 7w because we know the length is 7 times the width. Then I would add this width here, like this, and then I would finally add this bottom side as 7 of the width, okay? Now, if I look at this, I can combine all my like terms, which all four of these are like terms. Each of them has a W. I've got one W here and another there. If I combine them all, I end up with this 16W equals 64. The final thing I need to do here is just divide both sides by 16, which gives me W, or my width is 4, uh, but here's the thing, you guys. Don't write just four, please. This is a word problem. We know the units being used to measure, and that is in meters, okay? So that's my width, but once again, I'm still not finished. We're still missing the length on this. The length was seven times the width, so seven times that four, that would give us 28 meters here. Now that's my answer, but I highly recommend that you guys go back and just add these together. So you take 4 plus the 28 plus the 4 plus the 28 and just see what that equals. It needs to equal the 64 because it told us in the problem already that it was 64 meters, the perimeter. And if you add those together, you would find that it is 64 meters. So we checked it off.